Hello world, Shelly here, and today I've got a little get ready with me. We are gonna do an eye look with this palette from Wander Beauty, and I got this palette from Wander Beauty in my March 2023 Ipsy. I receive selections from the Ipsy Glam Bag and the Glam Bag Plus from Ipsy as a creator in PR, sent for free. Thank you very much, Ipsy. I paid for Ipsy for a very long time before I was invited into their creator realm. And this month, their theme is Step Into Your Power. And I wanna read this because the card that came with this is like, mm, it's everything. This month is an all out celebration of women's empowerment. As your biggest allies on this journey to self-expression and confidence, we're giving you everything you need to embrace your unique beauty from a feel good beauty routine to a community of inspiring women cheering you on along the way. Because when women come together, we're not only powerful, we're unstoppable. Love that, love that, love that. So as we transition, out of the winter time into the springtime, at least here in where I'm at in Virginia, we can transition powerfully and step into our best selves. That whole vibe is where I, that's, that's my vibe. That is my vibe. So I was really happy when I saw that one in the box, I have to say. If you're not familiar with Ipsy, it is a monthly subscription. There's a glam bag where you get four to five sample sized or deluxe sample sized products and a cute little bag. This is one of the prettiest bags they've ever done because it is textured. So I don't know if you can tell on camera, but that, that diamond pattern is actually textured on the bag itself. And bravo because it's super cute. The Glam Bag Plus is a bigger like drawstring pouch bag. I'm kind of obsessed with the bags I I have a giant collection of them. I love the bags. Like back in the day when Ipsy first started, that was literally why I was choosing it over other subscriptions because I love the bags. That's just me. I'm a nerd. I love stickers too. Like, <laughs> so I drive a Jeep. Yes, I'm one of those people. Yes, I drive a Jeep. Uh, and I'm gonna tell everyone about it because I love my Jeep more than many, many, many things in the world. Probably more than I should ever love any inanimate object, but there's a meme that goes around that says something like, you know, just spent $6,000 on Jeep parts, but does it come with a sticker? Yes, free sticker. Like, um, yeah, that's me. That's totally me. I'm not gonna use everything in my Ipsy, but we're gonna use the Wander Beauty eyeshadow palette. We also got an Estate Mini palette. And we've got from Pink Lips the Major Matte Face Primer. Now, I am a dewy kind of girl and super dry skin, so matte is not gonna be up my alley, but it will be for a lot of you, I'm sure. We've also got from Transluce Beauty, the, ooh, I will use this, heck yeah, Plumping Lip Gloss, dun dun dun. So we're gonna put that aside to use today. There's also an Illuminati, this looks like a liquid lip. Yes, it's like a nice nude. Liquid lip, should I do like a nude lip with lip gloss over it? Maybe we'll do that. Okay, let me set this one aside here. And so that was what I got in the Glam Bag portion. In the Glam Bag Plus portion was the Wander Beauty eyeshadow palette that we are going to play with. And I already opened it and looked at it because it is a beautiful neutral palette. And I'm very excited because uh, it's not leaning too warm. You know, that tends to be the thing with neutrals and they don't go neutral, they actually end up leaning warm. But this is the eye and face palette and I'm pretty stoked because it looks like I can wear this. They also put in the Glam Bag Plus, one of the options is the Green Apple Age Defy Serum. Now, way back when, what did I, did I say Juice Beauty? I don't think I said that. Green, I think I just started with green. It's Juice Beauty is the brand. I did a test of using some of the Juice Beauty products, including this serum, over a span of multiple weeks. Now, this was several years ago, but i am it's still out there because it was really, 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 really good. I will try to dig that one up from the archives and link it for you guys. Uh, so I'm a fan. I'm definitely a huge fan of the that particular product and Juice Beauty in general. I've had really good luck with their products also got the Pore Professional Tight and Toned AHA and PHA Toning Foam. 
You know I love me some acids for exfoliation. Also got from Grown Alchemy. I can't tell what this product is. Grown Alchemist, sorry. Oh, here we go. I see it, I see it. I need Sherlock. Sherlock, tell me what this is. Age Repair Intensive Moisturizer. I've already got my moisturizer on, but I will definitely use that. And another favorite brand of mine. Saturday Skin. This time, I think we got something from them last month too. This time it is the <laughs> pronunciation. I can't read. I should have kept Sherlock out. Use the Vitamin C Sleep Mask. All right. All right. It's got some peptides. It's got seven peptides. All right. I'm excited about this. Ziva is now sitting in the Ipsy box. She doesn't fit. You know, you know the rule of cats. If you fit, you sit. Uh, she doesn't fit, so I had to push her out of there. <laughs> but, all right, let's 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 do some face. Let's start out with, well, let's do the face. Let's, we got face and eye palette going on here. So let's start. I like this contour shade. does not look like it's leaning too warm for me. The only thing with these small palettes is like when you're using face brushes, it's kind of hard to get in there because the space is small, although it's great for travel and great for if you are you have a small vanity or a small space that you're working within. Let's start slow because I don't know how, yeah, this looks pretty pigmented. Let's try, let's start slow. Probably a little deeper than I would go in the winter time for bronzer, but it'll be fine. Yeah, it is not too warm at all. Fair skin, you can totally do this. It actually almost has that reddish brown to it. And that's what I like with a bronzer. I like, well, here's the thing. So bronzer is really supposed to mimic, you guys can't see this yet, but do you see who's right here? Yeah. She's, she, you have to get down, baby. You have to get down. I'm busy right now. Get down. Thank you. I locked the kitten out. I probably should have locked her out too. They're, <laughs> they're all up in my business today. So when you think about bronzer, you're really trying to replicate what you look like when you've gotten some sun. And when fair skinned people get sun, usually for a lot of us, that shade is like reddish. It's not tan. It's got a red, little reddish to it. And that's why when you have a super warm toned bronzer that goes golden, it just doesn't look right on fair skin because our skin has reddish to it. We, we, cause we have a little bit of burn going on <laughs> when we get sun. So if you want it to look natural and you have fair skin, Generally speaking, you probably need to make sure you've got one that's got somewhat of a red undertone to it. This one's deeper than I would normally go. It's a little too dark for me, but it is getting so dark outside. It is like a rainy, gloomy, awfully like miserable looking day out. And uh, it's getting darker in here by the minute, which I think is making my bronzer look darker too. Hold on, let me let me check my light settings. Let me see. Now we're still we're still okay. You should be able to see me. I hope you can see me. Let's get the blush brush. Now this blush shade in the center here. Let's see. This one's probably yeah, same thing. These are pretty pigmented. So I'm gonna try my best not to go overboard. We're gonna need some blending. These, I have to say. They don't blend as easily as some other face products that I know and love. They're a like it's just a little harsh. And this is this is my favorite blush brush. This is the Wayne Goss 02. It's just a little harsh. I feel like I'm gonna come back in here with my foundation sponge and try and tone it down just a smidge. Cause it's not blending as easily on the edges as I would like. The shades are nice though. I do think that the shades are looking good. It's just like, like 
like I can see like where I set it down on my forehead like it's just not blending out super great it's just a little little heavily pigmented which is making it harder to blend now I am not a professional so maybe for a professional this is easy but ta-da all right they've got some highlights so let's do some highlights usually I prefer silver with my highlight not silver is that right like lighter I usually don't go gold but I'll go gold gold is fine champagne is like as as yellow as I tend to go with highlight because gold is just a little too warm for me this one doesn't look too gold though this one's I wouldn't reach for it as my primary shade of highlight but it's not bad it's not accentuating wrinkles it's not like a in your face strobe lighting kind of a highlight it's just got a nice little sheen to it I do like that I do feel like this blush was too much for me too much for me all right let's get to eyeshadow Mac paint pot in painterly of course as per usual that is my primer of life I don't think I will ever find anything I love as much I use painterly if you are warm toned you might prefer soft ochre as your shade but this as eye primer just locks everything in clean flat canvas doesn't settle into creases I don't have any maintenance to it like it's just super easy and it doesn't budge and I like that but really I think the best part is that I mean look how far down I am and I'm about to hit pan on this container this jar and it doesn't dry out like that whatever magic they did with the cap and the glass jar it does not dry out and every other jar or pot based kind of cream shadow like this that I've ever tried dries out way too quickly so even if it's less expensive it, you end up throwing away half of it and this I can use it till it's empty it is wonderful there's my singing the love and praises of the Mac paint pot oh while I'm singing praises let's have a drink not sponsored this water bottle so I needed a water bottle I was intrigued a friend of mine saw this on TikTok and she ordered it it's from circle spelled wrong why do you have to spell everything wrong it's very annoying to us people that are like naturally proofreaders but circle c-i-r-k-u-l and this top is so this is a flavor cartridge the water inside here it's not infused it's clean water inside the bottle and then the flavor cartridge goes in and so you replace your flavor cartridges it's got a little dial that you pick what strength of concentration of flavor you want and then some of the flavor cartridges like this is fruit punch some of them have electrolytes they're all zero sugar there's some coffee ones and there's some like all different sports drink ones and electrolyte ones and all kinds of the only weird thing is that you have to tip it all the way back because you're tipping the water through the flavor cartridge as you drink it but I'm really enjoying it and they say you get like six full bottles out of each flavor cartridge and I'm on my fifth bottle of this flavor cartridge and I like it so there you have it uh, I think I have you, you know how most every company now you can you can get a an affiliate link that would like give you a discount off it I think I can get one of those kind of links so if I link this below which I hope I remember to do that I will put that link there and then you can get a discount and then I get a kickback off my flavor cartridge subscription or something I don't know I'm brand new to this thing but so far I'm liking it thank you to my friend Kim who was the one that got it first and said she liked it and then that made me get it all right so I think I'm just gonna go I'm gonna use this first shade Villa as my 
transition and then I think I'm going to put the bronzer shade in the crease maybe deepen it a little bit with the blush shade and then I will use these satin shimmers for the remaining whoa that kicks up a lot of powder I think I too much too much too much let's go slow slowly slowly yeah the shade looked like it was light enough to be transitioned and I was right so we'll do that this is my Wayne Goss 03 and it is one of my most necessary favorite brushes of life I have two of them because I don't wash my brushes as often as I should and therefore sometimes I need multiples <laughs> That's why I have like literally a dozen of the e.l.f. Uh, Ultimate Blending Brush. Is that the name of it? The foundation brush from e.l.f.? Yeah, I just don't, I don't wash my brushes as often as I should. It's such an annoying thing to do. And then your hands get all wrinkly like pruny from the water and... Half the time I mess up my nails because I don't wear gloves and I get my hands all wet. You know, yes, there are solutions to these things, but I'm, I don't do them. Sigma E25. I would rather just be using my <laughs> dirty brushes. Look how dirty this is. I mean, I wipe it off in my color switch, but it's, uh, <laughs> don't. Don't do as I do. Don't do as I do. I'm sure bad things can happen. <laughs> it's been it's been months since I've washed my brushes. It's okay though. We're still here. We're here. We're fine. I'm fine. You're fine. We're all fine. Everything's fine. Did you guys hear the everything's fine dog? is being retired. You know the dog that's sitting there having his coffee at the table and the whole room around him is on fire? Like, the guy that draws that dog, like the guy that created that character, is retiring him. And I think, in the main storyline, something like he went off into the woods and wasn't seen again or so. Like, you can, you can make your own ending to that story, but I guess they could bring him back later if they wanted to. I was kind of bummed because he's my background on my computer, Auric, and I have a little figurine version of him, a dumpster fire with the dog sitting on it that says everything's fine, that I got from my friend Joe, and uh, that makes me sad because I like the everything's fine dog. I have to say, I'm sorry, Wander Beauty, but your shadows, all these, it's not as blendable as... It's just, I'm not having a good blending day today. I'm living on the struggle bus a little bit with the blending. It just looks a little harsh, a little harsh. And as you see, I'm using these same favorite brushes I always use. All right, we're gonna make it work though. Cause you know I gotta go get a sandwich. All right, I'm gonna start, I kinda want a little of that blush shade going on in here. Let me see. What brush do I want for this? I think is this my 19? Yes. Yeah, Wingoss 19. I'm going to take a little of the blush shade and just kind of oomph a little of that redness into the crease so that it's not all brown. It's got a little bit of that red to it. And I'm slow bringing it up a little bit into the transition area too because you know it's a little softer it's just it's just it's, the lines are just a little too harsh for my liking but I like this shade this shade is very pretty it's a little deep as blush for me but I could totally see myself using it as eyeshadow too please blend please blend Please blend. Please blend. Please blend. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. It's okay. We're going to make this work. Favorite flat brush. This is the Smith 253 
See how it's got that angle to it, that little triangle tip? It's perfection when you go to your inner corner. Boom. I'm going to start on the outer corner. I'm going to start outer corner with that dark shade. Then this will be my middle shade, the second darkest. And then that I'll use for the inner. So I'm going to use those three as lid. The shimmer's got a nice, nice feel to it. Nice lay down, nice little shimmer. Nice, nice color, nice pigmentation. The mattes are just a little tough to blend. I don't know why. That's what I'm feeling. All right, let's go to the middle one, Santori. And I'm just gonna use that in the middle of my lid. I will come back and kind of tweak the dark shade once I get these all put down initially. This one's like a little more golden. The first one was a red brown. And I'm gonna color switch, wipe that off. And now I'll take the Daydream, the lightest shade. And you see how that triangle is just perfect? Like that, that br this brush is just, mmm. I love this brush. It knows its role, and it does it well. I wish this shade was a little bit brighter because these are all very similar. And then they just kind of feel a little bit muddy in this combination, this color combo. This is not my favorite palette. I was more excited when I opened it. It's okay though. Okay, I'm gonna dip back into the dark shade and I'm just gonna like, I'm barely touching my eye. And I'm just kinda dragging it over the, the seam, if you will, between the dark shade and the middle color. Like barely touching. Color switch. Now I'm gonna get my number 20 brush. This is the tiny little one from Wayne Goss. I'm gonna take a little of that darkest color and a dab of the blush color and just deepen the outer part of the outer. People call it the outer V. I call it the outer seven, thanks to Nisha from Sugar Puff and Fluff, who was the first person I ever heard coin that term for hooded lids and it just makes it so much easier to envision where to place color so that you don't drag your outer corners downward more than they already are when they're droopy or hooded. So thank you, Nisha. You literally changed my eyeshadow life. All right, all right. It all comes together. That's the thing with eyeshadow is that even when you think you're not coming together, you're probably gonna come together. Taking that bronzer shade, I'm just going to do a tiny bit oh, as I poke myself in the eye. Makeup is dangerous, dangerous territory for people like me. Let's get a little lower lash line. I did not want quite this much, but these are very heavily pigmented. There's a lot of pigment happening here. This is Wayne Goss number five, by the way. Where's my number 20? I need to like, this is, we got, this is a lot. This is a lot going on right now. This is more than I was bargaining for. More. That's a lot of pigment. That's a lot of pigment. Pigment. I stabbed myself. I got myself good on that one. <laughs> my contacts are like, what are you doing, girl? All right, well, we're just, we're very brown with our look today. This, none of these are, well, let's try. I was gonna say none of these are light enough to use as inner corner highlight or brow bone, but I'll try the highlight shade. Let's try the highlight shade. Okay, it's, it's light enough. It's light enough. It will do the trick for today. 
I have been digging a brow bone highlight lately. Like, it's because I watched a tutorial of Mel Thompson doing her, using her Tiny Marvels palette. And it reminded me of her banging brow highlight. She always had a banging brow highlight. Rest in peace, Mel. So that kind of got me back into doing the whole brow bone highlight thing and a, a bold one at that. All right, I've been playing with the CoverGirl Exhibitionist pencil. Thank you to whoever recommended that I pick this up for my waterline because I hadn't realized that they had a pencil. I love the, did you just see me stab myself in the eye again? I love the Exhibitionist mascaras and I don't know how I missed the pencil but I did and now that I've got it it's lovely and it wears well in my waterline and generally speaking is not prone to cause injury unless you stab yourself in the eye so thank you for that recommendation because I like it a lot curl the lashes. I have lashes that will stick straight out from my face if I don't do anything to curl them. And this side is my uncooperative side. Grr. What should I wear for mascara today? Because there wasn't a mascara in the Ipsy box, right? So what do I have? Well, Lawless. It's gonna be the Lawless. We're gonna do Lawless for the mascara. And I think I will also use my Lawless Brow Wax because that's just been what I've been digging lately. It's been good. For those of you that saw my video last week where I picked up that Fluffy NYX Brow, what do they call it? Fill and Fluff, the pencil with the brush. Mm. No, don't like it. The brush is like super dense and it doesn't even really allow you to brush through your brow hairs. And the pencil's just like a regular old nothing special brow pencil. So I don't recommend it. It's nothing special. All right. I still prefer on my lower lash line to use either this has been my lately mac extended play giga black has been lately i also love the estee lauder double wear zero smudge there are very few mascaras that don't smudge on my lower lashes and these are some of them the merit mascara also does not smudge on me they're probably the only three in the world because <laughs> i feel like i've tried all the other ones <laughs> All right, let's dig into, from the Ipsy box, the Illuminati liquid lipstick. Let's get Sherlock here. Can we figure out what shade this is? I would love to tell you, but it does not, oh, wait, maybe reveal liquid lipstick in, or maybe that is the shade. It must be the shade. You know, my lips are kind of dry and it's a matte liquid lipstick. I'm gonna use some lip primer. This is from Color Street. It is hydrating and fills in wrinkles. All right, let's go in. It's been a while since I wore me some liquid lip. So I totally borked the footage for my outro for this Ipsy box. As you see, when I thought the camera was off, it was on. And when I thought the camera was on, it was off. So. As I bid you farewell, I decided to show you some pictures of my cats. I've got pictures of all of them. Ziva you see in videos all the time, but Daffy and Polly and the kitten Charlie, you don't get to see as often. So here you go. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time, and as always, I... Wow, just adding those couple words messed me up. I appreciate your time and I hope you all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.